Welcome back and it's now time to go in depth. Will Jamaicans go to the polls before the end of the year? That's the big question. Some political pundits believe there could be another Christmas election. However, the Prime Minister and the ruling People's National Party, PNP, have remained mum on the issue. But there have been some telltale signs such as grand announcements, roadworks and several political rallies. So what's going on? We explore that issue now with political analyst Kevin O'Brien Chang and hopefully later we will be joined by Dr. Garnet Roper. Welcome to In Depth, Mr. Chang. Hi, how are you? How's everything? Everything is good. Now, do you get the feeling that general elections will be called before December 31? Well, they're mixed signals. The PNP has been saying, Dr. Peter Phillips has been talking, we're going to have elections soon. But when the Prime Minister goes at a rally, she says, I'm just watching to see the mood of the people and then I'll decide whether to call it or not. So it's, it's mixed signals. And the obvious reason is the, put it, I don't want to put it crudely, but what has been called in Jamaica, the dead baby scandal, with the 19 babies that died um, at two hospitals. And that really has been the big talking point in Jamaica right now. And it's one of these unexpected events that, you know, maybe the PNP had their plans, A, B, C, D, call election, but this is a totally unexpected event, and it certainly cost them a bit of popularity. And my feeling is that this is a big spoke in the wheel, and they are thinking, now, are we going to go with the original plan, or do we go to plan B? Okay, so you are pot potentially saying that calling an election now wouldn't necessarily favor the PNP. Well... The last, elect, last poll by Don Anderson, and Don Anderson is the most respected pollster in Jamaica. He called the last three elections correctly in September, and he had 30 PNP, 30 JLP, so he had them tied. <clears throat> Since then, we had a, a bit of a brouhaha with the, the prison. Um, Prime Minister David Cameron of Britain came to Jamaica and gave us a prison. Um, and talked about sending Jamaicans who are in jail in Britain back home. And it didn't go down well with the populace. They felt, felt a bit insulted, like Jamaica is a dumping ground, which said, give us schools or education, but prison is saying we're a riffraff. That was a, a lot of people are saying that. Um, but that started to go away, and then the, baby, the dead baby scandal came, and that has been a bigger talking point because everybody, you know, most people have children. And you can identify with that. And then Dr. Ferguson said, in a miss, he misspoke, so to speak, that they are not real babies in the real sense. And that angered a lot of mothers. A lot of mothers got very angry. A lot of people are premature babies or relatives are premature. And that, I think, was what raised the anger to the level that the prime minister had to switch Dr. Ferguson from the health ministry. Hello? Uh Okay, so Mr. Chang, now the dead baby issue, the dead baby scandal is one of the sticking points for the People's National Party. But well, yesterday, the, at the post-cabinet press briefing, Information mm -hmm. Minister Sandra Fortner announced that the loan ceiling for the NHD will be increased by a million dollars. Is that something good for them? Was well, it a political good, ploy? That takes, time, that takes time to take effect. And today we saw a notice that it's for new, buy, new um, borrowers. And that's one of these long-term things. It doesn't affect a whole bunch of people right away. So it's certainly a positive for the government. You know, it's a, you know, election sweetener, as they call it. But it's not going to counteract the anger of the dead baby. And the point I was making is that the PNP and the JLP, according to Don, Don Anderson, were tied before the prison thing before the dead baby. So it's very hard to believe that the PNP is ahead in the polls now. In fact, the odds are that the JLP will be ahead because if you're tied 30-30 and you have a, 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 a big scandal and then a huge scandal, you're gonna, you should be behind, logic says. So logic would suggest that at best the PNP is tied now, probably behind in non honest polls. And governments rarely call elections when they're behind in the polls. Okay. Unless, they, unless they feel they have to, that it's, it's bad today, but it's going to get worse tomorrow. All right, so let's, let's change the tides and now focus on the JLP. What's going well for them? 
we just we have just been informed that they have canceled their November 22nd um, general an, annual conference that is necessarily the the base point for you know gelling up supporters is that a good thing for them um the, well as i said they this is the jlp has had their problems in the past with unity you know um but this time around the, the table seems to have turned because the pnp is the one there's constant infighting you know there's constant infighting the pnp every day you see something on tv the pnp constituencies the the seven MPs have been five five MPs have been changed or four, and the people that are replacing them are not very popular. The people up to last night there's one on TV, but I'm giving you a breaking development now. There's a big rumor. I don't know if it's true that Devon Wint, who beat Chris Tufton in the race um, in St. Catherine, some for Dr. Ball's seat. The talk is that Devon Wint is going to be replaced by Chris Tufton. I can't confirm it, but I'm seeing it on Facebook. Okay, well, until we, we can confirm that yeah, development. That's, let's, that's when you should try to confirm. Please. Okay, let, let's, let's get in what, with Dr. Roper. So come back to the JLP now. By no, Dr. Ch Mr. Chang? Yeah? Ju just a minute. We have been joined by Dr. Roper. Okay, no problem. Dr. Roper? Hi. Okay. Hi, Arnett, how are you? How are you doing? It's been a long time. So, yeah, catching up, Dr. Ro Dr. Roper, do you think elections will be called this year, before this, for December 31? Yeah, elections will be announced next week, so not Sunday coming here, the following Sunday. What are you saying to us, Dr. Roper? That elections will be called when? A week Sunday. So, the PNP is prepared then? Well, I can't tell you that. I mean, the, uh, you know, you can, you're, you're asking me a different question. There will be elections this year. The, the PNP can't turn back now. And, they, you know, they, they took a calculated decision to call election, what, 12 months or 14 months early? Uh, before you would think it's constitutionally required. And they, they did so, I think, I think with two things. One is a killer pattern of stability has developed in the government, and the second is that the JLP is at its most vulnerable and weakest. Uh, not since 1976 has the JLP been as vulnerable to lose the election, going into an election as it is in this one. So, so Dr. Roper, isn't the PNP concerned about two of the scandals affecting them, including the deaths of 19 babies? Well, how is that a scandal, though? What makes the death of 19 babies a scandal? Between 2008 and 2015, 511 babies died that were premature. What makes 19 a scandal? But the high number, the the high number in six... quick succession, Dr. Roper, is what has no, no, incensed... You, when you ask me a question, let me give you this. Okay, go ahead. What I'm saying is that the loss of a child who was born less than two months, two pounds, and under 27 weeks, that child has a high degree of the expectation that the child will not survive. Its immune system is underdeveloped, and so on and so forth. That's the, that's the basic medical science. In recent times, the neonatology in Jamaica has exceeded almost international standard. We have a higher we have a better um, infant mortality rate than many, many developed countries in the world. In the context of it making enormous improvement, a bacteria outbreak into hospital caused the death of um, a set of babies. Forty-two of them were um, as infected. Less than 50% of them died. No. <laughs> We, we, don't, we don't have a, a great hue and cry about malfeasance or malpractice. We have the cluster of illness that caused death. In the context of an election year and a desperate opposition and a media that doesn't read very deeply. That okay, okay. Something. those are strong accusations. Well, 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 you, which one of them you want us to take? Continue. You want us to discuss the election year or you want us to discuss 
the media reading shallow. No, one we're week we, into, we're not. We want to week, talk about the election. Week, In the interest of time, we want to talk no, no, about the election. No, you scandal. I'm 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 challenging your words. Your your description indicates how how limited the perspective is. It's scandal, you say. Nobody is, is being pointed to as being culpable. The head of the hospital resigned. He said, then he came back and made some comments. The Minister of Health has been transferred to the Ministry of Labor. Okay. What is the scandal? Okay, well, Dr. Roper, in the interest of time, let's go back to the election. Okay. Let's so go back to the election. The and then you you not said a, that, that was no. the reason not to call the election. Not a problem. We're live and in the interest of time. We just want to continue with the elections. Okay. Will well, the elections be, be called before December 31? The PNP has said it not call an election during Christmas. Kevin is better at this thing than me. I expect it before the 16th of December. You expect it before the 16th of December. And what is going well for the PNP, Mr. Chang, that they should call the election before the oh, 16th you're not of December? Me that. Dr. No, Roper, Dr. Roper. That's for, that, for Mr. Chang. Oh, all right. So you finish with me then? Or can I not? No, Dr. Roper, you need to answer me. Hello? I'm not following. I'm not following yeah? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Chang. No, the PNP, well, the PNP, the big thing you have is the, is the, the IMF test. Dr. Phillips has done a very good job on managing the economy, in my opinion. He's been an excellent, maybe the best finance minister we've seen in 20 years. Um, the question is, down. though, are Let the populace him, feeling it? And the other big thing for the PNP is oil prices. Oil prices are down, a year ago it was $100 a barrel, now it's 40 something dollars a barrel. When they took office, it was $108 a barrel. It's a huge boon. Gas prices are lower. GPS bills are lower. Airplane fares are lower. Some more tourists. So that's a big positive for them and the IMF stability. The problem is many people are not feeling the IMF um, stability. And Don Anderson did a poll the other day. Con consumer confidence and business confidence is weakening. So... The biggest thing, as I say, the, 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 the IMF test and the oil, but it's the people, a lot of people on the ground are saying it's times are tough, and the biggest problems they have, apart from the, the baby issue, crime is a very serious problem. It is on the verge of getting out of hand, many people feel. It's up 24% from last year, and people are very concerned about that. Okay, Dr. Ropa, before we wrap up, what's so interesting What's so happening? Well, how much time I have? Because you sound like you call me, but you don't have no time for me to speak. I have a minute. So. I'll give you a minute, right. Dr. Well, no, Dr. Well, use a minute to wrap up, and I can't answer your question in a minute. All right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk a time when you have time for me to answer. I can't answer the question in a minute. All right? I, I'm not sure what the question could no, be. No, tell what me what are the high now. points right now for the PNP that will make them the successful the PNP party has, when the election the PNP is called. The has succeeded in turning Jamaica's reputation around since 2011 and have succeeded in winning the confidence of the internationally multilaterals and international creditors that Jamaica is open for business. It has, it has made progress on every key indicator including crime. Crime is not yet back to the level, and I hope it doesn't get there, that it was in, 2013, in 2012. The murder statistics is still substantially down on the outturn in 2012. So the, the, the fact is it has made progress on every indicator. Kevin is right that there is a lag between the achievement in the macroeconomy and in people's personal experience. Hopefully that has begun to change because for the first time in years, people are getting a wage increase, a small one, yes, but a wage increase nonetheless. I see the housing trust. I know the company Iron, um, the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, as well as Nestle, have been given enormously positive regard by those who experience interface with it daily. So the PNP has a strong, strong record. Whether it has had the narrative is a different question. 
whether people have felt it is a different question. Okay, Dr. But what is what is the big issue in the in the thing is whether the JLP can mount a credible challenge. I heard Kevin say when I was coming on that it is thirty thirty. A JLP can't even have a conference. Things are so bad with them. You know, I mean that's as a fact. I mean who has ever heard of the party going into an election without being able to mobilize its, its, its key delegates and workers and warriors in a single spot? Why would they miss that opportunity? Yeah. Okay, right. Dr. Rupert, mm -hmm. we have to let you go. Thank you. The discussion continues and we will continue to touch base with you. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Mr. Brian Chang and Dr. Roper talking about the elections that are supposed to be held, according to Dr. Roper, on December 16. You heard it here first on Scene Caribbean News. Stay with us. Sports is next.